Okay, so this is my second time making this video because the first time I made this video, uh, accidentally had some audio playing in the background that sort of like fucked it up. For some reason, my audio records itself, so that's a little bit strange that it does that. So I apologize for that. But yeah, Hamza Chemaev put out a really concerning tweet, pretty much showing his, you know, injured hand, which we all knew about, we knew he did injure his hand in that Kamaru Usman fight, but then it was a photo of him with what looks to be the mumps, I feel like it's the mumps, because, you know, that, that looks very, like he's got the mumps, he sort of looks like Uber, Uber Khan Namagamadov in that, which is ironic, since, you know, they had that little brawl that I think it was UFC 280, his skin as well, like he's got some sort of rash, I don't quite know what it is. Maybe it's chicken pox. Because I know chicken pox, if you get it as an adult, can really make you seriously ill. But he does seem to have some infection around his skin. Uh, which is really worrying to see there. Then there's him wearing like an oxygen mask. Then there's also him in a hospital bed. And then there's his bloodshot eye. So I don't know if these are all related things or if this is a bunch of like things. If if it is a bunch of different like if it's a bunch of different like illnesses all within the same time period, like Jesus fucking Christ, he's got the immune system of a fucking eighty year old crackhead. Like he's got a really he must have a really fucked immune system. Like poor guy, he's fucking going through hell and back. But Yeah, I'm not quite sure if this is just completely all now. Or if this is just... Like, maybe this was before the Usman fight. But I'm thinking this is all just post-Usman fight. Like, Jesus Christ. No wonder the guy's not being super active. Seems like... Like, I think he's pissed off some fucking Romani mystic or something. Like, some fortune teller. And she's just put some fucking sort of hex on him. Because, like, Jesus Christ. He's got the worst luck. I mean, a couple years ago, obviously, he had that really bad bout with long COVID. Where, you know, it was looking like he was going to have to retire. And he did retire. He thought that he had cancer as well. Because he was coughing out a lot of blood, uh, and yeah, it was looking very rough for him, and I think, I think that long, that bout with long COVID did actually still, imp like, I feel like that still has, uh, hindered him a little bit, I don't think he's the same fighter that he was before COVID, I know he did beat Gilbert Burns, uh, Leach, Kamara Usman in that time, but I just mean, if you look at how he fights, he doesn't throw as much output as he did, like, against John Phillips, uh, like he did against Reese McKee, and I guess you could say that might just be because he's fighting up a level of competition, which, you know, that could generally be the case, that is a high possibility, but at the same time, you know, I I do think his output has lowered since that bout with uh, long COVID, I guess he did have a back and forth forward with Gilbert Burns, but I just mean he doesn't really throw much ground to pound anymore, he gets people down, but he's He's more going for submissions than, you know, trying to ground and pound people out like he did against Reese McKee. But, I don't know, maybe it's just uh, something I've noticed and maybe I'm wrong on that. But, yeah, it just seems like the guy doesn't have a, a lot of luck when it comes to illnesses and everything. So, I do hope Hamza Shmaev does heal up. It is a bit concerning. He did put this out and then deleted it straight away. So, I'm not quite sure why he did that. Like, like he really didn't... For fuck's sake, man. Wind really likes to fuck me over here. Uh, but, like, yeah, I don't know. Really weird that he did put this out. And he literally deleted it within, like, five minutes. So that was really weird of him. But he, he, all he said was in the post, I was very sick. My hand is injured. So I couldn't return right away. I want to tell all the fountains I went to see myself in battle more than all of you. I love this job. I would do and prove that I am the best as always. As always we do. And I will be back soon. Inshallah training, and then like the handshake, you know, the, just those emojis. It's a robotic, for some reason it's a fucking robotic bicep, which is really interesting, but still, I'm such a Mayav's emoji choice out of the way, uh, just, you gotta feel bad for the guy, man, he's just, he's fucking being a horrible fucking event after horrible event for the poor bastard, like, he just doesn't have any fucking luck in the world, does he? Like, I don't know, someone's trying to fucking kill the poor bastard, I feel like, but I do hope he heals up soon, I uh, hope he can get back in there, continue his career, get a, get a fight with, like, Israel Adesanya or someone like that, you know, because you do got to feel bad for the guy, like, I know maybe some people don't like him, but you'd rather see him lose, 
like a fight fair and square, then like him going there like completely fucking dead. Like he goes in there like a fucking terminally ill man or something. Like Jesus Christ, the guy's fucking, the guy's been in fucking fight. His body's been in fight camp for like fucking ten years. It feels like like his body's just fighting off every fucking motor immune disease known to fucking man at this point. Like. People are saying, he's not being active, he's not being active. It's like, fucking Hamza Chumayev is fighting every fucking illness known to man at the moment. Like, you know, fucking, it's going to be Hamza Chumayev versus the fucking Black Plague before we know it. Oh, Hamza Chumayev versus the fucking Bugonic Plague. It's going to be Hamza Chumayev versus fucking Monkey Pox. It's going to be, fuck, Hamza Chumayev is going to fucking end up fighting Ebola next. Like, I don't know, it just seems like this fucking guy gets any illness known to man, like, you know, you fucking breathe too hard around Hamza Chumayev and he's going to be fighting the common cold. Like, I just feel bad for the guy. Like, how the fuck does he get this sick in such a short amount of time? Like, I generally don't understand it. Like, the poor fucking guy. But, uh, yeah, anyway, that's what all I wanted to really speak on. If anyone could let me know what this, like, rash would be, like, what, what exactly would this be from? Because I'm no medical expert, and I'll tell you that much. Like, I have no clue, but what would the, uh, because obviously if you can see... He's got a, he's, he's, he looks like he got stung by a bee or something, because his face is puffy a little bit, which I think is the mumps, but then also, I don't think the mumps make your skin turn like that, so I'm not quite sure what his combined illness is and everything, he's also got that in his arm, so I am really, I'm not, like I said, I'm not a medical expert, I'm not quite sure what it is, and then also his eye being bloodshot, I can't imagine they're all related, but... He does seem... I'm thinking it's chicken pox, but I could be completely wrong. Because, I'm like I say, I'm not a medical expert. I'm an MMA expert. But I do not know shit about medical uh, stuff. And I will never act like I do. Uh, I know some stuff. But, you know, again, I'm not a medical professional. So, I, I, quite, I don't quite know what this is. But, yeah, if someone could let me know what this illness is that Hamza Chumayev is suffering with, I would appreciate that. Or even something it could be even if you don't exactly know what it is, like, would it all, is there something that can make your face puff up, give you some rash, and then bloodshot your eyes, like, the fact he's in hospital as well, would make you believe this is, like, a pretty serious illness, like, like, he is fucking literally in a hospital bed, like, yeah, I don't know, I hope the guys, I hope he heals up well, though, and then add all of that, he's got a broken hand as well, so, like, that, that's the least of his fucking worries, imagine a broken hand being the least of your worries, like, what a shit go of luck, like, Hamza Jumayev, knowing how, how Hamza Jumayev's luck's going, his fucking losses, first luck is gonna, loss is gonna be some freak show fucking injury, uh, like, it's gonna be some crazy freak injury, but, yeah, you gotta feel bad for the bloke, like, Jesus fucking Christ, poor cunt, like, that's all I can say, man, uh, but yeah, I, I do hope Hamza Jumayev heals up soon, hopefully we can get him in there against Israel Asanya, somebody like that, you know, I want an active Hamza Chumayev is a good Hamza Chumayev, but yeah, not a good few years, you know, had that long bout with COVID, where it was looking like he might not come back, then he does come back, and now he's got to deal with this fucking bullshit, like, I don't know, but hey, adversity makes stronger men even stronger, so, you know, Hamza Chumayev might come back and just be an absolute fucking monster again. Like, maybe he comes back, somehow it reinvigorates him and he somehow just goes in there and fucking destroys people even crazier. I, that would be the, I doubt that would be the case. Maybe it doesn't change anything at all, but hopefully he doesn't come in there like fucking... Comes in there and he starts fighting like fucking... Ubaka for fucking Mag Namagamadov or... Who's like a really bad Dagestani? Uh... Fuck, who's, like, the worst one I can think of? I know, I know, Hamzat's not Dagestani, by the way. I know he's Chechen, but still, like, who's the worst, like, Caucasus mountain fighter? Damn, I, I'm thinking, I'm trying to think of one, but I can't think of one off the top of my head. Uh, shit. Who's that guy who, like... I can't even think what his name is. But there was like that Chechen guy. And he fought Max Griffin. He won like 0 and 3 in the UFC. He was like a boxer though. But he got like knocked out by Danny Roberts. Uh, Zalim. Zalim Amadiev. Imagine he just comes looking like his shit is that guy. 
something like that. Wasn't who I was thinking of. I was trying to think of someone, but I just can't even fucking think of them off the top of my head. But. Oh, really. Imagine he comes out like fucking Amiri Akhmadov, just like really slow. Like, I know Amari's not that bad, but just so slow, just gasses out, just looks fucking completely depleted when he fights next. Hopefully, that's not the case. But anyway, uh, sorry for having to reshoot this video. I did have some fucking weird audio issues there, but this won't be the case here. I fixed them. So I do apologize for that. So I hope you guys rewatch this video if you didn't watch the first one. But yeah, thank you guys so much. Make sure you like this video, subscribe, let me know your thoughts on this, do you think this is going to affect Hamza Chumayev's career moving forward, and do you know what illness he is going through, so thank you guys so much, make sure you subscribe, if you're not already, put on notifications, share this video around, I don't care, share it to anyone, tell people to subscribe to me, you know, uh, do whatever you're going to do, help grow the channel, I appreciate it, but anyway, that's all I've got to say, so thank you guys so much, I'll see you guys next time, cheers.